before Fausto started. Folks, I've known Fausto for many years, and uh, we've done so many things uh, about the market together at shows and other things. And I know that uh, you're going to learn something. And so listen closely. As Steve said, uh, Fausto's been to DTI a lot of different times. And uh, we always uh, meet him when we go out and done a lot of shows in Canada together. But uh, listen up. Take it away, Fausto. Tom, thank you so much. And I, I was actually a little disappointed. For many years, I thought I knew you all your life, Tom. <laughs> it feels like I've been doing this forever with you. Uh, it's been a great experience of, with, with DTI. I, I know Tom and, and the great staff over there. Um, you know, everyone is just phenomenal. Uh, Jeffrey and Adam and, and Steve and Christy and all of them. Uh, the list goes on and on. Yeah, I mean, they run a great, great program over there at DTI. And, and the reason why I'm here and why Tom wants to be here is that Great traders never stop learning. Um, great traders, we always go out there and we work together like a team. And you know, look at us as being like doctors. You know, Tom will never go out there and you know and 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 be a brain surgeon and then say, oh yeah, by the way, I could also you know uh, uh, you know I could be a pediatrician. I could be your you know. I could be your, uh, your dermatologist. You know, we, we what we do is we're very good at what we do, and then what we try to do is, you know, if we know if there's something you want to learn, you know, we'll tell you to go somewhere else. But we're always learning. We're always learning from each other. We're working together like, uh, to get like a team, and that's uh, and that's the way we do things. Um, I don't know what it is, but I'm having problems uploading my PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share my screen. I tried it twice already. It's not coming up. So let me just uh, let me just uh, share my screen. It's going to probably be a little bit. Not as nice, but you know, whatever. At least we get up there. So let me just give me a second here. Let me get up and running for you. Uh, all right, let me share my screen. Just give me a second here, ladies and gentlemen. All right, there we go. All right, so um, before we get started, guys, um, just last, uh, just really quick. Um, have any of you guys ever seen me do a speaking, or is there any students of of mine out there also? I know I have a lot of students that are students of DTI. DTI has a lot of students of ours, a CTU. Any students out there? Just wanted to make sure if I, or anyone has seen me done a speaking before. Several years ago, Carrie. Absolutely. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. So it looks like a lot of new people. All right. Uh, let me see if I can get up. Well, you know what? It's actually going to work out better because uh, what I'm going to do, uh, Adam, I'm going to. I have a couple of screens I want to share. Some trades, some new journals, some positions that we're in. All that good stuff. Okay. All right. Um, can everyone hear loud and clear? Sounds good over there, Ellen. You're the only one has an issue. All right. So if you have any, any audio issues, just log out and log back in. All right. So let me just change the slide here, ladies and gentlemen. Basically, today's topic is why. Do 80% of the traders fail? And how do we avoid being like them? Well, it's very simple, okay? The reason why people fail is because they were never trained properly. And when you're not trained very uh, properly, you lose all your money. And when you lose all your money, you try to find more money, and then you end up losing more. And then what all comes down to it, um, it comes down to that you had the greatest opportunity in the world, and you just blew it. But that's not why we're here. That is, there are 10 million people in this world that are trading. Why do 80, 90% of them fail? Because of ignorance. And guess what? Me and Tom and all our students, those are the people we want to trade against. I want to trade against somebody that, has, that, that is uneducated, that doesn't spend any money on trading, but apparently he's got some money he wants to go out there and trade with. Those are the people I want to compete against. And that's why we're here, and that's why I'm here. I'm here to kind of educate you guys that it's all about that edge, and it's all about knowing how to play that game. But to be a good trader, you've got you to have great education. And that's why what I'm going to teach you here um, today. So, but just before I move forward and, and tell you a little bit about why we're doing these things and what we're here to learn, um, I, you know, I have to be honest with you. I was one of those ignorant 10 million people out there that lost money. Why? Because I was 22 years old and I was ignorant. 
I was I was I was a kid, and I thought that ah, eh, was someone going to teach me? I could do it on my own. There was no law that you had to go to school and learn this. There was no reason, you know. Uh, and I didn't want to sit there and spend money to learn from somebody. More or less, it wasn't even the money. You know, I, you know, it was the time. I'm like, I'm not going to go out there. And I mean, how hard could it possibly be to learn the bid, the offer? Well, guess what? It was really hard. And some of you guys are probably realizing that right now. That you know, it's not as easy as the green and the red button. Okay. Well, fortunately for me, and just like Tom himself, um. We smarted up and we raised a white flag and we got a job. We got a job as traders, as market makers. And let me tell you, what a lot of you are going to learn today, you're going to, you know, you're going to wish you never made your first trade because that's exactly what happened to me. When I went out there and I traded and I started learning, you know, from the first day when I met my mentors, living here in New York and surrounded by the best traders in the world, I realized everything I did was totally opposite. I'll give you an example. I didn't know that you could see level three quotes. I didn't know that there were dominated market makers that you could see what they're buying and selling. I didn't know that um, you know uh, that reading charts was a lot simpler than making it more complicated. I didn't know that you had to be a tape reader, which is what me and Tom are, other than we were pretending to be analysts. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to stress here now, ladies and gentlemen. And then really quick, just, you know, just showing you some great photos up there. Um, I, I, I just came out with my new book from Wiley, How to Beat Market Makers in Our Own Game. Um, you guys are more welcome. I'll tell you at the end of the presentation about it. Um, Forbes wrote a big article about us day traders. That was one of my friends right there. Uh, a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. I was one of them. Right in the closing bell with Steve Forbes, you know, and Ken Fisher, you know, he actually did some speakings for Cyber Trading University also. So, you know, the thing is we surround ourselves with great traders, you know, and that's the beauty of it. Um, and also I'm a 12-time world champion um, at the Traders Challenge. I be, basically beat every school I competed against. So how do we, so how did I get to where I am now? Well, it all started from here. We have to learn before we could earn. Because if you don't learn, you're going to lose. Because losers are 90% of the failure rate. And if you knew what you were doing, you're going to compete against 90%. Remember, there's a winner and there's a loser, all right, in the, in the trading uh, business, all right? Now, think of you as being a professional athlete. You and I could be really good friends. But I get, but this is my job. I get paid to play football. And, you know, and if you're on the, and if, and if you're on the Jets and I'm on the Patriots, listen, the bottom line is, I get paid to win. At the end of the day, we'll have a beer. We'll, have, we'll, 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 we'll uh, you know, we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll have, go to birthday parties together. Our kids will hang out. But when it comes to being on two separate teams, there's a winner and there's a loser, and you do not want to be on that losing team. So, how do people lose? Um, well, thought there's gonna be live trade. We didn't get today yet. Relax. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get to the live trading. First of all, let me explain to you what live trading is, all right? Now, when it comes to trading, 50% will lose by opening up a brokerage account because most people open accounts with wrong brokerage accounts. The first thing they do is they go out there and you know people open up accounts with online brokers and the way they get convinced is they look at cheap tickets. They're like, oh, they got great tickets. These are cheap. These are the ones I want to buy. That, you know, oh, I pay seven dollars to go. Oh, you pay seven. I pay five. I get it two dollars cheaper. That's twenty percent. Whatever you want to do, calculate. Listen, the only thing that's cheap is the cheese in the mousetrap. All right. Let me explain to you how brokerage firms make money, and then we'll go into the trading aspect of it. First of all, online brokers make most of their money by routing your orders and selling your order for something called payment for order flow or maybe dark pools. That's basically what they're doing. They're going out there and they're, ba they're, they're selling your order to somebody else, they're getting paid for it, or they're just selling stock to have in their own inventory. I'll give you an example, Scott Trade. Okay, I did a trade with Scott Trade, and um, bought this, I put an order here, you can see right here, I put an order, and, um, oh actually here's the order, uh, at two, 226, right, I get executed at 228. 
two minutes later, paid seven dollars, got a steal on my tickets. Great deal, right? Well, guess what? That two minutes cost me one hundred and fifty dollars. I don't know what's the better deal, the seven dollars or the one hundred and fifty. Which one do you think? Well, guess who made the one fifty? They did. You see, ladies and gentlemen, but sometimes you have to take matters in your own hands, and the only way to do that is you got to have the right brokerage account. It's called direct access. Okay, so there is where people start realizing where if you want to trade like the guys on the floor of the exchange, you got to have the right execution system. Now, do they cost more money? Of course they do. Of course, they, you got a problem with that? You have a problem to pay to to buy a car versus take public transportation? Hey, do you guys realize how much money you would save if you just took the, took the local bus every day? Think about it. Anyone here drive a car? Why would you do something so dumb and drive a car? Just take public transportation. Pay the $2. Why go pay for insurance, liability, all that? We all know why. Try to explain that to a pregnant wife and saying, oh, honey, um, I didn't buy a car because it's, um, I wanted to save money. I want to wait for the bus first one comes at 6 o'clock, and she's actually having contractions at, at 8 o'clock at night. It's not going to work very well, guys. Um, does it happen for options? Absolutely. Absolutely. You have to understand something. Anyone here been watching the elections that are going on right now, all the, the debates? Anyone here watching the debates on TV? I'm not, I'm not here to talk about Republicans or Democrats. I'm not, listen, this is a business, all right? So let's treat it like a business. Anyone here been watching the debates? Well, what's the big thing they're talking about? You know, who's making all the money? They're going after Wall Street guys, Republicans, Democrats. Oh, you got with these Wall Street guys, these Wall Street guys. These oh, we we got to tax the. Why are these guys making so much money? What are they doing? Why are they in the business? How about this? Why beat them? Why don't you just join them? Why Why are we all here? We're in the we are all. Listen, I don't like Wall Street. But at the end of the day, guess what? We're all, in the, we're all in this business together. So how are they making so much money and you're not? Well, this is what they're doing. This is because they're trading a way that gives them the advantage, where 80 and 90% of the people aren't. But what are people, the first thing people do? They got to learn the indicators. Got to learn the, the MACDs, the pivots, the, the, the moving averages, the Bollinger Bands, the Castics. Next thing you know, they start looking like this kid. You know, I mean, listen, we're in the business to make money. So the, the, the mistakes that people make is some of you make it more complicated than trading what it is. All right? So let's get that out of the way. And just keep in mind, and for some of you that are students with, with DTI, you all know that Tom keeps things very, very simple. And not only did he, does he do that, we do the same thing. It's all about trading. Now, let's get right into, let's get into the trading aspect. Okay, so what did we learn so far? Having the wrong brokerage account, you know, um, learning, you know, trying to pretend to be an analyst, um, you know, but let's talk about timing during the day. All right, now, I get this question all the time, and Tom gets this question all the time, and I love this question because because I'm, we're the only ones that know how to answer it. People always ask me, he says, you know, Fausto, I ask these, these schools all the time, if you guys are such great traders, why do you teach? Like, I mean, if you're, so, if you're so great, why do you even waste your time? Well, first of all, we love teaching, and it's a, we have a passion to do it. But most importantly, how we kind of fell into it, trading's a part-time job. It's not a full-time job. Trading only requires you to be there the first hour of the open and the last hour of the close. So if you're trading stocks, you know, it's not, you don't really trade all day. You know, it's a part-time job. I mean, look at this example, GL, uh, GTLS. Look at the stock at 9.30 this morning, Seoul Eastern Standard Time. Stock goes from 32 all the way to 36. After that, stock does nothing, you know. So, I mean, these are things, um, hold on a second, I just want to, um, i got to change something up right now. Hold on. Let's get something up. Okay, there we go. Um, let me bring up my execution system. Like, here's Amazon, right? Look at Amazon. It makes its big move this morning, right, at 9.30 this morning. Look how much money it moved early in the morning. I mean, do you have to trade all day? 
you know, is, is that is that more or less what you have to do? I mean, look at GoPro. Everyone heard about GoPro this morning? Look at at the open what happened. Right at 9.30 the open, the, the stock went from $20 in less than, I don't know, 10 minutes. It went all the way to, to 19.10. I don't know, it's a dollar move, and then look what happened since now to 12, flatline. You know, um, what's another stock that we traded today? Uh, VIPS. Look at this stock, 9.30 in the morning. Right at the morning, $13.40. In a matter of what, 15 minutes? The stock goes from 13.40 all the way to 14.30. Went up a dollar in 15 minutes. Now granted, who cares where it is today? Day trading, most day trades were out within a minute, okay? And um, I'll even show it to you. I did some trades this morning. Where are they? Oh, here they are, okay? Um, these are the trades I did this morning. And what I want you to look at is look at the times. VIPS, nine, uh, nine, this is all Eastern time, 9.39, out at 9.40. 9.46, out at 9.47. 9.54 out at 9.56. 10.09 at a 10.10. So people always ask, oh, but where is it now? You know, day trading, we make our days pay, you know? And what I'm going to show you guys, um, you know, at the end of the presentation, actually, we have uh, anyone journal? Does anybody uh, do any journaling of their accounts? Anybody monitor their trades, what they bought, what they sold, and you know, knowing why they made money and why they lost money. Anybody do that? Larry, you do? Bill? Okay. Well, at Cyber Trade University, our students um, get journals. And uh, you see right here, basically, um, we actually calculate, you know, you know what, where you're making your money, where you're losing your money. And, you know, basically, uh, you could see what your total winning percentages are, your average winning. You add, you could add, um, Add journals, it monitors your journals. Um, you could actually put notes, your commissions, you could put some files, what it looks like. You know, one of the big things that me and Tom always learn as traders is you have to monitor your journals. And here at Cyber Training University, we spent several hundreds, we spent hundreds of thousands of dollars building technology to help you guys do better. Like, like for example, uh, what was my big trade today? Um, yeah, uh, this was our big one, uh, Tesla. Let's click it right here. It's a position that I traded today. Uh, this was my last trade. Uh, anyone heard what happened with Tesla today? I guess you heard what happened over the weekend. So anyway, here you have Tesla. I made $190. Um, we bought it at 10, uh, 1009. We sold it at 1010. Uh, bought it at 69. Sold it at 89 cents. And you can see here in the chart, you know, basically what happened with the stock. Um, you know, how you could trade it, how the stock went up, how the stock went down. You could add some notes here. But, uh, but the thing is, being a good trader, you got to be able to monitor, not Tesla, Taser, Taser. Taser makes the tasers that shoot people, you know, uh, that, that electrify you. So uh, Taser is actually doing pretty well today. Um, You could see Taser um, had a big pop this morning. You see how the stock went all the way up to about $19 and came back down right there. And now you can see where it's at 1820. Now for me as a trader, you, when we bought it, I traded at 8, you know, 8.09, at 10.089, I sold at 10.10. I mean, 20 cents on 1,000 shares, guys. Anyone happy with that? Um, okay, KG has a very good question. Why are you trading, you know, um, stocks and why are you not trading options? Well, first of all, let me explain something to you. If you want to be a good options trader, you better damn well know how to trade a stock because the movement of the stock that makes an option move. You don't want to be a poor man playing a rich man's game. And that's where people lose money trading options. You trade options for leverage, okay? I'll give you an example. Another stock that we traded this morning that's on the list. Um, did anyone see the AVXL trade? Here's a stock that went from a buck fifty and went all the way to fourteen dollars and went all the way back down to three. Look at that chart right there. Okay? Now, look what happened today. The stock went from nine thirty 
and all the way to 11 o'clock ran to 570. By the way, does anyone have a problem? Anyone have a problem with that stock? Of, I mean, because people ask me, well, what does the company do? Why did it go up so much? Do you even care? I mean, do you care about what the company does, or do you care about making money? That's what you ask yourself. Because traders, you know, Tom doesn't know what cares what the DAX is. He doesn't own the DAX. If the thing goes, if the stock, if the DAX is going to get crushed, that's he's going he's going to drool out of his mouth because he's going to be able to know what's going lower. That's what trading's all about. We don't own the companies. We don't care if they go bankrupt tomorrow. We're just here to make money. Now, good question came across, and I want to get to that. Um, Wayne says, how do you pick the stocks prior to the open? That is the easiest thing to do, okay? But let, before I get to that, let me, answer, let me answer this, because now you're asking for strategy. Now let me teach you how to play the game, all right? Now, question for all of you. How do stocks go up and go down? How do options go up and down? How do, does the futures go up and down? Can anybody answer that question? Let's see if you guys can answer a very simple, basic, 101 question. How do stocks go up and go down, or anything? How do Beanie Babies go up and down? How do Cabbage Patch Kids go up and down? How do Ferraris go up and down? Judith, no, not news. There's a lot of companies come out with news and doesn't, they don't do anything. Supply and demand. Can everyone chat that in there? Come on, Barbara, what about you? Bill, Bob, Brad, could you guys tell me? Put it in there, S&D. Everyone put S&D. Who's sleeping out there? Am I really boring you guys? I want to I make sure. Just put S&D, just so I know you're alive. Supply and demand, right? Now, what is supply and demand? Following the money. That's basically what it is. All right. Now, listen to me carefully, guys. And this is going to make you realize if, that you better quit trading now or you better learn how this market works. So my question to you is this, guys. When you're in a position, whatever it is, Forex, options, futures. Do you know who the buyer and seller is in the stock that you're in? Do you see the buyers and sellers? Do you see the supply and demand? Yes or no? It's a very simple question. Do you see the orders? Wayne says no. Thank you for being honest, Wayne. Nobody's going to get in trouble. Listen, some of you guys are managing money here. I bet if you ask any of your clients and, and, ask, and, and they ask you that, no, nobody's going to rat you out, <laughs> okay? Just be honest. Well, supply and demand is the same thing as buying and selling. Do you see the buyers and sellers? Uh, cases, do you have access to it? Yes, we do. Absolutely. Everybody, you have access to it. The question is, who trained you how to, figure, to find it? Wow, I'm, I'm actually shocked that I'm not getting a lot of yeses. So if you didn't answer, I'm just going to say right now that 90% of you are saying no. Whatever it may be. Maybe embarrassed to say it. Maybe, you know, I don't know. But other than that, if you cannot say yes, I'll just take it as a no. Well, guess what? I said no also when I first started. That's why I blew up three accounts. So let me explain to you how trading works. Um, here's a couple of positions that we traded. Um, this is our, our, what our Twitter, um, our trading room. Um, P is uh, Pandora. Okay, it's up a dollar in 15 minutes. Right here at the open, look how the stock went up so much. Now, how did, you know, Andrew know to, to make 43 cents on that position? How did Rich, our instructor, know uh, put the order out there, and Andrew made that much money. How did we know that? Well, we have no crystal ball, okay? The way we know is because the reason why it went back and the reason why Andrew sold it right at that 13 high right there is because if you look right here, this is called, um, this is the, the trade station platform. It's the matrix that they use. Now, 
on the right hand side on the ask those are sellers on the left those are buyers and those are the bids so when you look at the matrix you see that there is on thirteen dollars you got eleven thousand bids so when you look at the matrix you see that there is on thirteen dollars you got eleven thousand share seller out there does everybody see that everybody see that big seller now for a stock to go higher the only way it's going to go higher is somebody has to take out that 11,000. I mean, Rich put 10, but looks like some more people probably jumped in before he put that posting up there. So if there's a big seller at 13, what would 13 be? A support level or a resistance level? What do you call that? Everybody? That's right. And look what happened. Look at the chart. It hit 13, and look where the stock dropped to. It went to 1265. How many of you have gone out there, and when you posted a trade, how many of you actually, as soon as you bought it, the thing goes down. As soon as you sell it, it goes up. And trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Is somebody watching me or something? I mean, think about it. Does a chart show you supports and uh, buyers and sellers? Do you see buyers and sellers on a chart? How, did, how, how could you have not known that resistance levels was 13? How could we, I mean, if, if, if a chart could tell us that, how, I mean, listen, there's no guarantee, but everybody wants to read the damn chart. I, I can't figure this out. Why is a chart so important? The chart is only past data. It's not indicative of the future. William says it happens every day. Well, William, that's why you're here, right? You are only as good as the education that, uh, that you got, right? Who do you think is going to be a better, a, a, better, a better doctor? Me, who never went to med school, or the guy that works at the hospital that had to get his license? Who would you rather have work on you? Or in reality, who do you feel more comfortable driving a car with? A kid that just got his driver's license or didn't get his driver's license, but he's, apparently he's 17 and... Now he thinks he's allowed to drive, but apparently motor vehicles not asking for, you know, you got to take any permits, or, 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 or somebody's been driving for 20 years. Or would you give your money to somebody that never even learned finance? Well, what do you think you're, what we're all doing? A lot of people pretend they think they know how to trade, but they don't. Remember, you're only as good as the education that you got. So where did you really get your education? And unfortunately, a lot of people tell me, oh, I'm self-taught. Oh, I read books. Listen, that's not the guy I want to give my money to. Trading is one of the best jobs in the world. Why, would no, why do you think they keep talking about it at the elections or at the debates? They know we make a lot of money. So why not knowing how we do it? Why not, instead of beating them, why not join them? Uh, a couple of questions coming uh, across here. Um, Long says, when the orders on the ask side are more than the orders on the bid side, would the stock go down? Well, Long, listen, that's a great question. And you know what? I have a slide that comes, that's coming up to that. All right. So here you have Donna Alters, one of our students. Um, she was up $7 on a position, uh, VRX. Okay. Stock dropped $18 in one hour. All right. So how did she know it was going to drop? How does she know and make a $7 profit? Well, it's something called iceberg orders, okay? Here at Cybertrain University, we show you how to monitor what are called high-frequency trades. Okay, anybody know what a high-frequency trade is? High-frequency trades are 70% of the volume out there. Okay, yes. So the thing is, you know, when it comes to orders, long, this hopefully answers your question, um, you need to see if the orders are getting executed. Just because you see them out there doesn't mean they're getting executed. So there's another very important window that's on your execution system. That is called time and sales. So this is called modern tape reading. This is what me and Tom Busby do. Okay. Now, here is a time and sales window. And we have the orders segregated by colors. All those orders in red means that, pe that people are on the bid are getting executed. All the orders in green means all the orders are getting executed on the offer. So, very simple question, guys. 
looking at the time in sales, what do you think the stock's doing going to do? Go up or down? What do you think the stock's going to do? Up or down? With all, with seeing where those orders are going. It's going to go down? Okay. Do you need, but by the way, do you need a chart to tell you that? Or do you want confirmation from a chart? Because we could do that. Because you know where a chart gets its data from? Time and sales. And you know what? Congratulations. The chart is showing it's going down. How about this one? What do you think this stock's going to do? Go up or down? Congratulations that it's going up. All right? You see, I know this sounds very beginnerish, but stop and ask yourself a question. How many of you here right now are monitoring the high frequency trades? How many of you are actually monitoring the orders that are get, that are that that are taking place? Okay? How many of you here are reading charts? Because the chart is the last thing that I look at. Because the chart's delayed. I don't want to be a lagger. I want to be a leader. I want to see where the orders are before they get there. I'll give you a great example. Take your eyes off the screen for a second. I'm going to teach you how simple and why people lose so much money in trading. Okay? I'm going to show you something so, so simple. Could everyone just look at their ceiling right now? Just look up. Right? Is everybody looking at the ceiling really quick? Everybody see that? So if you climb a ladder, what's going to happen when you hit that ceiling? What's going to happen? You're going to hit your head, right? Did you need an indicator to tell you that, that that was a ceiling? Did you need an indicator? Oh, you could see it. Could you see that? Do you need an indicator to tell you that? Simple question, yes or no? Exactly. You could see the resistance levels. You could see the ceiling. It's the same thing about when you're trading the market. You could see the orders out there. You don't need an indicator to tell you that. You don't need a chart. That, you could see the guy out there. And you know what? You could see if they're going to get executed by seeing the time and sales. That's what trading is all about. All right, so now let's go to the next thing, finding stocks. Because now we had people ask me, oh, well, how did you find the stocks? How did you know this stock was going up? Where did you find, you know, um, where did you find GoPro? Where did you find VIPS? Where did you find the, v, the AVXL? Well, that's pretty easy. Um, basically, what we do is the market actually does not open up at 9.30 Eastern. It actually opens up at 8 a.m. So there's a lot of pre-market going on, a lot of pre-market. And here at CyberTrade University, what we do is we run a, a professional pro trading room, just like what you're in right now, and we'll trade what's called the pre-market. And we'll see all these orders. You've got to remember, a lot of people from the day before will start putting limit orders through their online brokers. So they'll tell their brokers, hey, listen, I want to buy this stock tomorrow morning. Could you, could you do that for me? Of course they're going to take your order. But what are you telling them? They have a guaranteed person who wants to buy something. So what do you think they're going to do? They're going to, try to, they're going to buy it cheaper, and they're going to sell it to you for a profit, just like I showed you out with Scott Trade when I got that order executed two minutes later. You know, and they made 150 But, ooh, I, I only paid $7 a ticket. Got a great deal. Better than paying 10 you know, than some people think of. But, listen, I'd rather pay, tw you know, I used to pay $20 a ticket when I first started. $20, and I still made money, a lot of it, high six figures. People can't even, people are crying, to, you know, they're trying to say, well, you know, I pay $5, and that's still too much, and not knowing why they're losing money. Why are you losing money? Because you have the wrong technology. Remember, how successful are you going to run a business dealing with public transportation all day, okay? If you ran a hospital and you didn't buy any ambulance, because you want to be cheap, so you want to use a local bus service. How many people are you going to save? You know, it's the same thing. You're only as good as the education that you got. And you could only be as good as the amount of money you spend when it comes to trading. Unfortunately, 
You got to you got to spend some money to make money. And think about it. I'm not going to be able to teach you how to trade because I'm well, I'm pretty much done here. Um, I have a couple of more things I'm going to show you guys, but I can't teach you how to trade within an hour because the thing I can't teach you is experience. You have to consistently see it over and over and over again. A lot of you guys have a lot of bad habits. And I think that's probably the hardest thing that me and Tom Busby have a problem overcoming. A lot of you, you know, and I, I talk to students all day long. This is Fausto. I've been trading for 20 years. You've been trading for 20 years. What are you doing here? You, you, you're only here for two reasons. Number one, you're losing money. Or two, you're trying to perfect your trading. Because great traders never stop learning. Listen. Tom runs events all the time. Some of you have been to DTI, have been to his, um, his anniversary class and his, his old, I've been there, I sat in his classroom. We think I don't want to learn about how he trades the DAX to help. If it helps me do a, become a better trader, why not? I don't have a problem spending money and taking courses with other people. Why, why wouldn't I? First of all, it's a write-off. <laughs> Number two, I get a credit back from my brokerage firm you know, on my ticket charges, regardless of who I am, including yourself. Why would I not want to do that? It's basically free, you know, so why not take it? Yeah, I got to come up with the, the initial expenses, but to jump into business that's going to teach me how to, to make the six-figure, seven-figure salary, why not? It's a lot cheaper than going to college and paying, you know, a quarter million dollars and spending four years there. I can tell you that. So... With that said, ladies and gentlemen, um, there's a lot of big movers in the market. You could see stocks like, you know, CAAP, up, you know, stock went from $2 to $8. You see, as traders, we really don't care what we trade. You know, like getting back to, you know, the, a, the, a, the, the AVXL, all right? Now, I know this is like past tense and everything, but what I'm going to do right now is I want to go to my uh, Twitter feed. I'm just going to bring this up really quick. And this is our Twitter uh, page, okay? So if you look right here, three hours ago, see this right here? Three hours ago, these are the positions that we called out. MT, VPIS, uh, GoPro, Blue, AV see all the stocks. And a lot of these stocks that we found were in the morning. You know, we found these at 9 a.m. in the morning. So what we do at Cybertrade University, we run a 9 a.m. meeting. Now, granted, not all of them move, but some of them did. And we don't really know until the market opens up. So we were done around 9.15, 15 minutes before the market opens up. And you know what? Any one of these stocks, you could have did pretty well. And then what we do here at Cybertrade University is we'll journal. We'll go out there and we'll journal our trades and we'll basically monitor what we bought and what we sold. And we'll analyze our trades and keep an eye on it to know why we made money and why we lost money. Because this is what's going to help you become a better trader when it comes to trading. By the way, any, any, and oh, by the way, our journals oh, that we teach our students, um, you could use this to your futures, towards your options, everything. We actually use this tool to do our coaching. With our students, I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, here we are, we could talk all we want, but unless our, our, we're not able to watch and manage our students with their succeeding and failing, um, this is why we, we come out with these, uh, these features. By the way, is anyone using a, a, um, a, a journal system? Anyone here have a journal system that they're using? Now, there's, not, there's not really a lot of them out there. Um, actually, they're very rare. We actually had to build one. Uh, some of them write them from manually. They write on a piece of paper. Um, how do we get to see the level three, Wayne? Okay, well, level three, you can get with your brokerage firm. Okay, um, level three, you can get it. Hold on one second. What I, who, who's your brokerage firm, Wayne? Who's your broker? Yeah, Larry, you know, Excel sheets are great, but imagine having this thing streaming on a, on a website for yourself. Yeah, Options Express doesn't have it, Wayne. They won't give it to you. It's not not a very good platform to use. TradeStation have it. It's it's called the uh, 
Um, great platform. Um, by the way, uh, they use it. It's called the Matrix. TD doesn't. I think TD does have it. You got to ask them about it. It depends on what size of account you have. You got to remember, a lot of brokerage firms don't want to give you the technology because all it does it, it hurts them. Because the, you know, listen, the more money you make, the more money they lose. Because a lot of them are trading against you. They, they're actually taking the bet. It's called a payment for order flow. I know it doesn't sound very nice, but listen, it's business. Um, so anyway, let's talk about some other stocks, about finding stocks to trade. Um, not only do I, I, I preferably, see, I preferably like to day trade because, I don't know, I just like to sleep at night. I don't like to have positions. But, um, but, but by being a good day trader, you'll be a better options trader, a swing trader, and eventually you'll find things that are moving in the market. Like here is an example, stock was up 300% in three days, um, IBIO up 400% in three days, and you know, basically what all these stocks have in common is Ebola. You know, one company made the rubber suits, the other company made the, um, the, the drug. Uh, a lot of you probably, unfortunately, catastrophes make for opportunities. What happened this weekend? The big, ter uh, terrible what happened this weekend. But Paris, you know, got attacked, okay? So you're probably wondering, can you really, really benefit from that? I mean, could you profit? Because remember, we're traders, you know? Is it possible? Yeah. Well, a lot of the, oh, listen, they keep blowing things up. They got to replace those weapons, right? So all the military stocks, if you notice them, they're all going up, you know? And, you know, listen, a lot of these companies never thought of Taser. You know, like, oh, we don't really have Tasers. They didn't think we need them, but maybe we do need them now. Remember, what about GoPro? GoPro took off because what happened, you know, uh, remember the big thing about police officers was shooting people, and they said, we want to put ca cameras on them? You know, GoPro took off because of that. You know, but remember, it's, it's, it's a business. We're just here, you know, we're here just to trade them. Listen, if... if if an, if, um, if an oil tank sinks, you know, or, or they get blown up and it causes oil prices to, to rise, what do you think is going to happen to the futures? You think, you think Tom Busby is going to be like, oh, my God, that's devastating? He's going to be like, oh, my God, a big catastrophe happened. There's an opportunity to make money. Any of you were affected by the, um, the financial crisis back in 2008? You know, unfortunately, that was probably one of the best month, best year of my trading in my career. I made more money in that year than I made. I made more money in six months than I made in six years, you know, trading um, that whole banking crisis, long and short. So, ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to trading, you got to think about it, potential income. You buy 1,000 shares of stock, it moves 50 cents, 20 trading days, you're talking about, you know, a six-figure salary. Who here doesn't want that job? And it really doesn't cost a lot. You know, where, you know where the cost comes in? Getting the right mentor. Remember what I just told you. You are only as good as the education you got. And the last person I want to learn is from someone that was self-taught. So you got to find the right mentor. And you're going to need more than one. Don't think that just one mentor is going to make it for you. You need to learn from several. I have people all the time like, oh, I took a course from someone, it's, it, it was terrible, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to do it anymore. You can't. You've got to learn from somebody else all the time. You're going to learn something new. The worst thing could happen is you're going to learn one thing. That's the worst thing that could happen. So, um, Peter has a question. Uh, well, Carrie has a question. What have to, uh, we have to look at what we choose to trade as our ATM. Well, that's right. And our ATM is our ATM machine. Peter, is a, what do you see different than level three and level two? Peter, do you, do you, did you ever see live level two quotes before? Peter, do you ever see the difference of level two versus level three? Side by side? Level three gives you 20 times more data. Level three shows you all the orders at every single price level. Level two only shows you the best bid and best offer. Okay? So, if you want to see it, well, this is what I'll do. I'll invite you guys to come see some live trading. Um, 
and you know, it's something that I could offer. So if you want to start learning today, guys, this is what I, I kind of recommend all of you guys to do. I want all of you guys to come and join me for three days. Three days. If you call in right now, we'll give you an, an additional two more days in our trading room, plus I'm going to, going to be doing a live workshop on Friday. It's a $600 value. Um, you're going to watch me trade the pre-market, okay, live in the market. So you'll see how we use the journals. You'll see how we get in these positions. I personally guarantee you money back. If you're not happy in five days, I'll give you money back. Don't even, no questions asked. Have any of you guys ever seen stocks of 20, 50 percent a day? I mean, I mean, think about it. Have any of you guys ever been in a position like this one that was up 60, 56 percent today? Stocks like this one, the the a, the AVXL. Well, you know what? We do it every day, every single day. So, if you want to come and join us, I personally guarantee it. For 37 dollars. If you register online, it's three days. You call in, we're going to throw an additional two days plus the workshop. Um, let me just give you the link if you want to register on our site. And there you go. Put that there. And yep, that's the link right there. Or you can call us at 516. Two eight zero five three five zero. A couple of questions coming. Oops, felt it wrong. Five one six two eight zero five three five zero. There we go. Uh, let me just X out of that one. Okay, a couple of questions coming across here. Last time I was invited to your program, there was no sound. Wasn't impressed with the. Oh, well, the thing is this, Anthony. I don't. We can't talk all day. The, the market's not moving all day. Ninety percent of the time, people are in classroom. Ten percent of the time. They're in live trading. How much more talking do you need if you made your money within the first 15, 20 minutes? You, the goal is not supposed to be there. The goal is to go out and enjoy the rest of your life. You're not here to do this full time. Trading is a part time job. That's the way to look at it. How is it not uh, a competition with DTI? Well, Jeff, it's not because great instructors, we, we trade together. Whatever you learn, you see, you have to. You could utilize, you got to learn, first of all, you got to learn all the markets, okay? And my expertise is high frequency trading, day trading in the stock market. Um, Tom does more futures, okay? Trades more of the DAX, knows, knows about the, uh, the metals, knows all about that stuff. And, you know, and you need to learn a little bit about everything because you, first you got to find yourself. What do you like better? What do you like to do it? But you could trade all of them. You really could, but you, and you got to learn all of them. They all affect each other. But as much as Tom knows that you guys are going to want eventually, because a lot of you guys have mutual funds and hedge funds, um, uh, IRAs, you know, you, you got to learn this stuff anyway. So we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, we don't pretend to be a jack of all trades, just one trade. Once again, they, they depending on depending on what you're doing with them, Peter. Some of sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Any other any other questions? Any other questions, ladies and gentlemen? All right, then, with that said, guys, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about, about the trading and understand about the workshop, about being in live trading for three days. By the way, this is our live trading room. It's going to bring it up over here. Um, a lot of people are basically off right now because it's middle of lunchtime. But um, these are our trades that we've done this morning. And our general chat, same thing. We use the same technology as DTI uses. And you could see these are the trades that we um, we started at 8:30 this morning. Just kind of kind of show you exactly what we do a little bit here. And um, this is all like 9:30. Then we're in the meeting at nine, so it's kind of quiet. Everyone's wishing me good morning. 
And then we post the trades out there. And those are all trades that we traded. Uh, we do do options also, but remember, to be a good stock trader, you got to be a good option trader. You first got to learn how to trade the stock first. All right. Yeah, you know, West, uh, there's, the, the date, actually, you're right. This date is actually, uh, it's got to be changed. That, that was the last one that we did. But the next one is actually, um, I do apologize for that. It is the 20th. It's got to be changed to the 20th. Well, Ellen, the thing is this. Did you talk to an education advisor at CTU? Talk to an education advisor, and then, and you know what? If, they, if you did it before, they'll extend it for you, all right? But the most important person to talk to at CTU is um, when you join the trading room, you definitely talk to an education advisor so that you can explain to a little bit more of what you're doing in there. When you join the trading room, you definitely talk to an education advisor so that you can explain to a little bit more of what you're doing in there. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, listen, thank you so much for coming. I'd like to thank DTI for, uh, for having me here, and uh, I'd like to thank all of you guys um, I'd like to thank all of you for listening in. Hope you learned a little bit. Just remember, guys, the most important thing you got to learn when it comes to trading, you have to learn before you can earn. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. I hope you learned a lot. And I'll hopefully see you in the next five days.